Hello everyone, welcome back to Work of Art. Happy to see you guys back. I'm here to do another video for um, just going to work again. And of course my dogs all had to come back and visit. So um, hopefully they don't drive me bananas. But anyway, I want to get right to it because I had a lot of things to do today. So I'm going to actually go in with my um, Neat Even Better Glow Foundation. I was looking at, I was kind of comparing, for one thing you'll notice there's some new um, little bite marks on this. Because of those cute little dogs, they have chewed on to a lot of my products, and it hasn't come out, which is good. So, anyway, so the, the original formula that I've worn, the even better foundation, is um, has a lot of mineral sunscreens, which I really love and, and rely on. And I was just kind of comparing to the even better glow, and this one has a teeny bit more mineral sunscreens than the other one does. So that's kind of cool. So here's my little dollop of product. This really is my favorite brand for foundation. And I've tried lots of them. I've got a beauty blender and make sure it's all blended in nicely. So there is that, quick and easy. Where's my towel? I'm gonna to have my towel to wash my fingers off. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go in and do my concoction, actually, of my the two concealers I use as a primer. We'll try it anyway. These are for under eyes as well, but I thought I'd use as a primer today just to see how this would, would, would pan out. It's a mix of a line smoothing concealer from Clinique, and the other one is actually a um, powdery one, more powdery one, it's called Fit Me, a drugstore one from Maybelline. And definitely the, the powdery part of it and the Fit Me one will probably give me more um, stain power the day so we will see if that's true or not I already have my skincare all done and all that so I'm testing a couple of different things that are not usually used um, on the face but if it works out well I'll come back and I'll talk about it so there's that and then I just recently, I have not owned a um, Estee Lauder multitasker brow color, brow pencil yet. So I finally got one ordered and so you have a little, kind of like the Anastasia one's kind of like that. So you have like a little angled triangle, like kind of angled thing like that. And the color is a really nice color to match with my, my um, brow color that I already have, my natural brow color. That's my phone and that should not be on at all. So that is looks really dark now that I've got it all. It's not, it's not that dark of a color actually. It's just kind of a soft tan color. But anyway, so there's that. And then the other end of it, or the inside of it actually, is the brow powder. So you can kind of just kind of fill in with some, some powder. This might be like Groucho Marx territory here in a bit, but. That's why we try things on. And then the other end we have the spoolie to kind of brush through. It's crazy how you can take a color that matches your skin exactly and just by filling in a little bit more it looks so much darker but it'll be more of a dramatic look for today than that's that's all we'll, we'll do. So I'm going to go in with my um, Too Faced Peach Palette because I just like this one so much and there's one shadow I have not used yet and it's called Talk Derby To Me. It's kind of 
navy color. So I think I might use it just to kind of smudge out my lash line liner. So I'll kind of go with a softer um, kind of combination of colors first and then go on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and go into, um, just go into caramelized here and start the color in the crease area. I also have a chubby stick I was planning on using to see how well it worked. I, don't, I haven't really used it on the eyes because I feel like they're easy to play with on, on the hand, but they're, they're kind of a big pencil, so that was kind of one of my ideas was to kind of layer that on top of the peachy colors and then see how that looks throughout the day. Getting them symmetrical, both eyes. So that looks good there. I'm going to go with another smaller brush here and do. Um, let's go just go ahead and go with the dark one now. Well, no. Um, I'm thinking that might be an idea. So let's do Fellini. The inner half of the eye. And then we'll go with that dark color. So now we'll go in with the Talk Derby to Me. And a really tiny little brush so I can kind of control it. It is pretty, it's definitely an intense addition to these colors. And then we'll go ahead and do my brow bone, and then we'll come back and we'll play with that, that, that liner pencil and see if we like that. So I'm going to use the um, Nectar color right here, and this is just an angled little softy brush from Amazon. Oh, it's not very soft, so it does kind of fit along the shape of the eye. I feel like it's a little too light and brash, so I'm going to go in with another one instead. I'm going to take the um, Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter palette and use that to kind of warm up the brow bone a little bit. Yeah, this will be better, I think. And the chubby stick is a unique chubby stick. It's a little fat pencil, and it's kind of rounded off. So we wanted to kind of play with and see if we like this or not. Because it's so big, I just did a kind of a thicker line there, and I'm going to go back and just blend it out with this little brush. Otherwise, I think it'll be a real big mess. So. Blending away. Just 
different. <laughs> it's not my normal look actually, but it's just something kind of to play with a little bit. And I may not do the chubby thing again, but it's, I think some people like it that it's easier for them because it's, it's just kind of blending with, with the crayon and, and smudging things out and that kind of thing like that. So it could be easier for some people. I'm going to just go back and blur this out a little bit more. And then for a, um, actually a, a real liner, this is our Intense Plum from Clinique. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to line my eyes. Again, just kind of like tighten that up a little bit more so it's more um, delineated. So there we go with that. And I'll do a little lash line as well, I, I always do. This color bluish kind of plummy blue is gonna make the my eye color, which is more green, kind of pop up, which is nice. So there we go with the liner, all set with that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara to get my lashes all intensified. And then lower lashes, I have to look in the mirror because you could poke your eye out if you weren't careful. So pretty good, it's kind of a fun look. I do, I do still want to blend out the, the, that light color that I used from the um, Too Faced palette wasn't quite the best. So I'm going to again, add more warmth with this one here. And just warm it up. So that looks good. I like that. And then I didn't really pick a blush because I was going to use my highlighter again as my blush. So I'll go ahead and do that too. Because I'm so fair, most highlighters don't really show up on me. So this highlighter, which is super light for a lot of people, ends up being kind of a good shimmery, kind of half contour, half bronzer kind of idea. So that makes me happy. And then for lips, I actually have another chubby stick that I was going to use. And this was one I have not um, had in a long time, actually. This is Super Strawberry. So this is a balmy kind of, um, well, it's a balm. <laughs> and it's a, a mango butter and shea butter balm. So it's really soft and hydrating. I had some Burt's Bees balm on before, so this is probably not going to stick as well. But they're great for carrying in your bag and applying while you're driving if you're feeling kind of dry and you're, you know, trapped in the car. So anyway, so that's kind of, um, that's pretty good for the day, I think. Um, actually, I might do one more thing since we're here. I have my...